lot for bringing us all of the details. But moving on to another important story that we're tracking. In a major relief for Dhan Lakshmi Bank, a division bench of the Kerala High Court has ruled in favor of the bank, which is uh, now setting aside a writ petition filed by four shareholders seeking board positions. Now, this ruling will pave way for expansion of the board and it will also help it proceed with its proposed fundraising plan. So, Ritu is here to explain this to us, to take us through the order as well as how things could proceed from here on. Ritu. Well, that's right. It is a relief for Dhan Lakshmi Bank because the Kerala High Court has now upheld the petition uh, which was filed by Dhan Lakshmi Bank rejecting uh, the writ petition by four individuals who had sought board positions on Dhan Lakshmi Bank. Uh, their candidature, remember, was rejected by the board last year and they had challenged this in the High Court and now there is some relief coming in for Dhan Lakshmi Bank. Now, this is important because one, uh, you know, the uh, current board of Dhan Lakshmi Bank is only five members and that includes the MD CEO as well well as two RBI nominated directors and this will pave the way for the expansion of the board, the nomination of a woman director as mandated by SEBI and once the full board is in place, the bank will be able to go ahead uh, with the proposed rights issue which it had proposed to raise about 130 crore rupees and that had been stalled uh, because of the AGM being held back because of these ongoing litigations in court. Now remember this also comes uh, at a time when the shareholders and their ongoing tussle with the management continues and EGM uh, has been called for on the 12th of November by a section of the shareholders which represent about 13% stake in the bank uh, that have two items on the agenda. One is, uh, you know, uh, to appoint a board director to, uh, you know, uh, handle these writ petitions, which of course will not arise now with the Kerala High Court ruling. And the second matter is curtailing the powers of the MD and CEO with respect to expenditure other than, uh, you know, necessary uh, expenses. Uh, this, remember, is ongoing. Uh, the last CEO was also ousted by the shareholders and this uh, tussle has led to several top-level exits at the bank. So 12th of November, that is the next day to watch out for. As of now, a relief because the board can be expanded and the bank can go ahead with its rights issue. All right, Ritu. Thanks so much for all those details. And with that, we'll slip into a short breather.